Hey kids, Mr. Steve here. Just want to work a little bit on some things that I'd like for you to focus on at home. And it's all about your position in passe and really working your feet. You know, sometimes when we're really focused on one thing in class, it can make it everything that we're doing better. So right now I want you to focus a little bit on passe, passe position, yeah? Now we're gonna focus right now on jazz passe. We're gonna be paralleled. I really want that foot digging into the side of your knee. So when you're here, I want you to actually feel your foot pressing right into the side of your knee with your foot pointed really hard. The arch of your foot, that little arch, should go right where your knee, the inside of your knee is, and you should feel it pressed really, really tight and hard into that side of your knee. Also your arm position, getting those arms in a nice firm jazz position, not letting it drop. Sometimes just holding that position reinforces what you're going to do when you turn. So when you're in that position, just focus on turning. Pretend in your mind that you're spinning. We don't always have to do things full out to get the full effect. However, what I do want you to do full out is point your foot from the top of your ankle, you're really feeling it, so you're not just crunching your toes, digging it into the inside of your knee, arms placed, and you can even then add a releve if you want to, and just try to hold it for as long as you can. Again, we sometimes when we take little bits out of what we're trying to do, it makes the whole better, right? It's kind of like making a cake. We have our eggs, we have our flour, we have our oil, we have our water. Those are all important ingredients. If we leave one out, the cake's not so good. Same thing with pirouette. The pirouette is the cake, but all of these ingredients, the arms, the passe, the releve, spotting, all important. Remember too, to keep practicing your spotting technique. And for those of you that have been taking class with me for a while know that I want you to do that spotting exercise where you're walking around yourself, looking in the mirror, and then you snap your head and you come around. So go 10 times to the right and 10 times to the left. If you have more time right now, practice this four or five times a day, right? I know for those of you that take class with me know I tell you to do it every time after you brush your teeth, not before. I don't want you to swallow your toothbrush. But for those of you that have never taken with me before, you just look in the mirror and snap. Look in the mirror and snap. Doesn't matter how fast you go, but again, it's reinforcing that whole thing of making sure that you're spotting. So when we turn, we wanna focus on our arm position, we wanna focus on our passe position, we wanna focus on our releve, and we wanna focus on our spotting technique, right? Those four ingredients, if we're making our pirouette cake, go into it to make sure that we're gonna be able to turn properly. So focus on those things a little bit. Again, it's not always doing, trying to, to do as many pirouettes as you can sometimes. It's going to the basics and focusing in on little things. Maybe one of those things you need to practice a little bit more. Maybe you have a tendency to lower your arms. Maybe you have a tendency to disconnect with your passe. Maybe you have a tendency not to spot. Practice. I can tell you this much. If you have a little weak area in one of those, you practice, when you come back, you're gonna be taking that next step. All right, so keep practicing, enjoy.